Hey y'all, this is Dr. Lamb with Simp the Truth Broadcast. Welcome to our program today. Uh, we did come from Romans 8, 31, and it's read, and what can we say about these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Father God, we come right now, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, thank you for life, death, and strength. Lord God, thank God for the blood that runs through our veins, Lord God. God, we thank you, Lord God, for the man that want to serve God, and God that want to understand I get some information about your role, Lord God, to apply to our life, Lord God. God, we thank you, God, for being a great God, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you, God, for your grace, and God, we praise you, God, for your mercy. God, we love you now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Romans 8, 31. And what can we say about these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? You have to understand who is God. God is the Alpha. He's the Omega. He's the beginning. He's the end. He's all in between. God is Monday. He's Tuesday. He's Wednesday. He's Thursday. He's Friday. He's Saturday. He's Sunday. God is the AM and God is the PM. God is the minutes and He's the seconds. He's the hours. He the days and he the years. He the centuries. God is everything. I'm saying God is the supreme being. But not God, there is nothing. The Bible says in Genesis 1 1, it says in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The earth was void, when not formed, it was darkness. Then God said, Let there be light. And just like that, there was light. So God is everything I just mentioned and all more. God is everything. God is the air we breathe. God is the mock cool that we can't see. God is the, 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 the bacteria in a good and bad way. And God is everything. God is the bird you see flying inside the air. God is even the, even the thing that crawled on the earth. God is everywhere and everything. Everything is God. If we're not God, there'll be nothing. So if God who made everything is for you, who can be against you? Now understand, first saying, how can God be for you? The Bible tell you in Matthew 6, 33, it says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else to be added to you. You say, how do you seek God first? Say, come in 2 Peter 2 and 38. It says, then Peter say, repent. And be baptized for remittance of sins. So first we got to come to God saying, repent. Do our little faith measure and say with earth fell um, a symbolic thing and, and get baptized. So me and them said, if God be for us, if he has set them two things in our lives and align it to his will and his purpose. God be for us, I'm saying, if we try to do his will, we all try to do right. We, 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 we constantly purge ourselves. Be constantly repenting. We be constantly trying to do the right thing. Be constantly trying. Also, it's, 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 it's a strong thing. The Bible says not that we got one good thing inside the flesh. So our flesh got a whole bunch of bad stuff in it because we don't inherit some stuff. We don't. We don't. We don't inherit Adam and Eve sin. We don't. We got a lot of stuff happening with this flesh. That's why Jesus came to break the curse of the flesh. That's why Jesus came in the form. He was already God already, but he, he came. He came in the form of man. I'm saying to break the curse of the flesh. So I'm not get to that. I'm saying, but if God be for us who can be against us i want to slide in my quick i'm saying this mission is this well probably i forget i'm saying the same way if god be for us who can be against us is the same thing if god be against us who can be for us some of us are saying it's trying to help the wrong people some are trying to help people saying they can't be helped some people are cursed and under a curse. Not only they is part of the curse, but their children, children is part of the curse. And their aunties and their cousins and they, and everybody is part of holding this curse until they repent and break the curse and turn from their wicked ways. That I'm saying, can't no one bless them? But back to what this touch of the hand. Back if God be for us be against us that means that no weapon that form against us whether it be inside our mind whether it be inside our spirit 
Would it be without a thought pattern? Would it be financially? Would it be physically, you know what I'm saying? Would it be a type of sickness? It might form, but it should not prosper. Understand what form means. Form is that I can have a gun in my hand and I can put it out on you, but it's not an inch in my body that will, will make me pull the trigger. That means it'd be like, like, like basically having an unloaded gun in your hand. It just there for intimidation. So the devil can enter the enemy, the devil can, can, can intimidate us. He can make things go around us. He, he, he can test our children. He can touch our minds. He can, uh, he might even affect your body and we think we are cursed. So our, our, sickness is part of curse number one. But if God be for you, that sickness is the symptoms. But God is a healer. Past the symptoms and past the sickness. You know what I'm saying? Because you can have sickness of something that will make the sickness be true. Again, if God be for you, who can be against you? Overall, I'm going back to what I'm saying to you that God is a good God. And we serve God through faith. Come here, Hebrews 11, chapter the first verse, it said, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So understand something. No one has seen the bird of the bush. Nah, not in my day of time that I know about. No one has seen God talk from heaven and the whole earth shook. So basically, I really shook, but God is out of faith. We believe by faith. Uh, we comprehend by faith. We act in faith. We live in faith. We walk by faith. Faith is so important with your ratio with God. The by Hebrews 11 6 say that we're not faith, it is impossible to please Him. So if we can't please Him, we can't have a ratio with Him. And if we don't have a ratio with Him or we don't know Him, how can he be for us? So it's very important to understand that order for God before us, we got to keep our faith with him in order to commute with him, in order to have a relationship, or to be inside his will. You understand? So a lot of people read this verse. And it gets so stuck on, well, if God be for me, can't nobody be against me. And you see people quote on Facebook, they be on Instagram, they uh they, they take out uh, uh content and they are uh, they end back with the same scripture, and the scripture is true. The word of God is true, you know what I'm saying? But the the the, the application and things coming our way in a hard way, I'm saying, gotta be aligned or calling to his will. That means we gotta have a relationship with him. We gotta have faith with him. We gotta have a uh, communication with him. And we gotta be inside his will. You say, what is his will? His will is saying to live right, uh, to uh, to purge our minds and to separate ourselves, sanctify ourselves, our minds, our heart, our body, and our soul, to be uh to to seek him, to dignity seek him. The Bible said Matthew 6 33. It say, but seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness that they be added to you. You can't have God favor in your life until you seek him. You can't have a relationship with God until you seek him. You can't have favor in your life with God until you seek him. You can't have his blessings of God until you seek him. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't do nothing past yourself when not seeking from a relationship with him and having faith in him. So, the scripture does say, what can we say about these things? If God before who will be against us. And I'm saying that a lot of us quoting that scripture and God ain't was for us. When I say he's not for us, I mean that we we we, uh, we we not in compliance. We not uh we not uh we not in uh the will. Uh it's more to it than um, being uh claiming stuff. You got to actually try to like present it and live stuff. You know what I mean? We got to have, have, have a have a repentant spirit. We got to understand that. Uh, we got first of all understand that we all sin. Um, that's not an excuse to sin, 
but we understand we all sin and we know we said daily so we be have a repentant spirit spirit you know what i'm saying it keeps us inside god we'll be constantly repenting throughout the day throughout the week throughout be constantly repenting and another thing we need to do so um it's, it's more to repent we got to fast about so these things about fasting and praying so we got to get, get a, a fast life so we got to we got to save for certain foods or some of that saying just to, and to keep our to keep our flesh under suggestion saying um keeping ourselves out of control keep doing a self-check it's a it's form of discipline and we do understand by having all by being human like natures and having common sense that saying if you don't discipline something it become unruly and the same thing uh as being a child of god or being a believer if you're not constantly disciplining yourself whether it be through fasting or praying or through thumbs up saying you, you mean your, your spirit and your mind is, is unruly you're going to do things that you shouldn't do or you don't want to do it because not because you, you you're doing it because because you just can't but because you just because you you have no type of government that's the purpose of laws and statutes of the land the laws on earth like that and, and, and land they are meant to keep things i keep people in discipline or i pick people inside position when it's some type of form of accountability but now accountability and i'm saying we can never have a relationship with god our relationship with God is so important you know, because it, it, it results, it, it affects our whole entire life. It uh, type uh, it, uh, it affects uh, us having accidents. It's a uh, it attack our peace. Uh, it affect our uh, our mind state. It uh, affect our prosperity. It uh, affect our uh, demeanors. So we have relationship with God. We have peace. Uh, you prosper. Uh, you overcome sickness. Uh, you have faith. You are strong in the visible. Uh, you rebuke certain things. Uh, and then when stuff I try to attack you, you can say, then you can say, if God be for me, who can be against me? So, we can either say that God before us who will be against us. But for us to be effective, for that thing to be effective in life, it's a certain standard that we got to live and we got to present our bodies, I'm saying our, I'm saying our minds to order for it to be effective in our life. So I don't want to send people around saying keep on using that verse. Uh, like they got it going on, our God really for them. And God that really ain't for them because he, first of all, he don't know them because he not, they not, they're not inside the will. So it's very important saying that when you quote certain powerful scripture about certain things that you be in compliance to the will. So it's very important saying that, uh, that when we quote certain scripture, scripture that we make sure that we uh, discipline our flesh uh, and discipline our, our minds and like I'm saying like do a self check uh, it's a lot of people probably don't like this saying right here, but if you're struggling a little bit too hard, um, or something going away, you might sometimes do a, do a, a self check to see actually if God really for you. When I say that, we, we got we got to check our prayer life. We got to check saying it was it what mouth and putting that mouth on certain people. A lot a lot, a lot of y'all saying is going through stuff because you're not really in compliance with God word and people who are semi in compliance are semi trying to sincerely to be in his will when he say touch not my anointing and then my prophet go home he say that what can we say about these things and God be forced to be against us so people who actually trying are trying to do certain things they got the they got the scripture, they got the power back them up saying when they hate that God be for them, who could be against them. So God really for them because they really trying. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying to you? They really sincerely trying. And we it have compliance pin our mouth verbally on people that actually in somewhat compliance are trying to be in compliance and they sincere with it. So now this scripture. It's not working for you, but it's working against you. You understand what I'm saying to you? So instead of you having peace in your house, the person 
who you think don't deserve peace and you kind of type verbally or mentally or just like, you know, you know, slickly and you come towards a certain person but for whatever reason they have the power in this scripture that protected them saying if God be for them who could be against them? You know what I'm saying to you? So they have this protection over their lives. So some of us is going through certain things in our lives. I'm saying, I hope y'all catch me here. I'm saying, it's because we pin our mouth, not physically, but verbally, on the wrong people. You know what I'm saying to you? Some people is going through stuff not because they are so evil. Are they so wrong? I'm not, I'm not being kind of compliant, but because they simply it pay their mouth on the wrong people. You understand what I'm saying about that? I'm saying that that scripture means just what it's saying. So for instance, let's say for instance, I want to use because I want to sound like a man self-centered, but just use me because I, I, I but it said, so if God, I said, I don't try my best and God is for me. God is for Joseph. And they say, Marco, and have compliance and be the trying like Joseph tried to try with God. And God know that Joseph really trying and mock for example only. You know what I'm saying? Ain't really trying like that. You know what I'm saying? But he know Joseph really trying like that. So Marco started doing stuff to Joseph. So now the power in the scripture is protecting Joseph because he the one that's inside compliance and not Marco. You see what I'm saying to you? And so, 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 so now Marco is having a hard time. Not because only because it's outside God's will, but because Marco is coming against Joseph, and Joseph is trying to be a compliant for God's will. And it's scripture said, God be for Joseph, who could be against Joseph. So now all this stuff is retaliating on Marco because he is doing, you feel what I'm saying to you? And that's where generation curses come from. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Bible will touch on too. That's where generation curses come from. You have a group of people. You have a let's say for example, you, you have a, a mother, and she don't got out of God will so bad. She know God will, but she out of God will. You know what I'm saying to you? And she's not being compliance with God will, and she have kids, and by her being the head of a household, the blessings and curse coming down from the head and down. So by her being the head of the household and the children is following their, their mother. You know what I'm saying? So now the mother's not in compliance, so now she become cursed. Okay, you, there's two things. You either bless, you either curse. You're not, there's no in between. It's either bless or the curse. That's how I go. You know what I'm saying? So now she cursed. You know what I'm saying? So the curses is attached to everything she attached to. You know what I'm saying to you? So it, it attached to her daughter, it attached to the, the grandson, it attached to the, the son, it attached to everybody connected. You know what I'm saying? There was different type of it, 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 it connect to a source and it just spreads. The same way, if you're blessed, how everything around you blessed, you know what I'm saying to you? Like, oh, like if I'm blessed, my house blessed. And because I'm blessed, this chair blessed. And because this chair blessed, I'm saying we ever sit inside the chair is blessed. You know what I'm saying to you? And because I'm blessed, if I have roaches, my roaches are blessed. Yeah, my ceiling fan blessed, my table blessed, my elephant blessed, you know what I'm saying, my clothes blessed, I'm saying, my necklace blessed, I'm saying, my earrings blessed, I'm saying, my my, my children's are blessed because I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? So you blessed, I'm saying, it it everybody blessed. So if God before you, if they connected to you, it's under the same covering. You know what I'm saying to you? So 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 now if you curse, the same apply. You know what I'm saying? And you curse as long as you're doing everything but God will. Or you are nourishing everything but God purpose. You know what I'm saying? So, back to the scripture. What can we say about these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Understand scripture. Don't use scripture 
for a point of self-satisfaction or self-destruction. Don't think you blessed when you ain't blessed. You become blessed when you're inside compliance and God will. Sometimes we just look up and get stuff. People say, you know, sometimes look, when I say, when I say by that, I mean, sometimes I'm saying God, say, remember he said God blessing the blessing, he, yeah, he blessing the, the bless, he bless on the just and unjust. Sometimes he just give us stuff just because. But us it could be fool and saint that we are deserving of something that we're not. That's where we come in error at. I know I kind of like took y'all for like a little whip right there. I'm saying you wouldn't expect that to come out of that. I'm saying, but it's what it is. But what can we say about these things? That God be for us. Who can be against us? You got to understand and know if God is really for you. And you will know if God is for you. Because certain things in your life will be in compliance. I'm saying, if certain things will happen, I'm saying, when you present these spirit, if certain things I'm saying will go in your favor, when you ain't trying to hard, say like, say like, you'll just know, I'm saying, you, you'll know the Bible says we bless inside the city, we bless inside the, 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 the field, we bless when you go out, and bless when you come in, that mean, they that, you, you'll know a child of God, I'm saying, but God is past the piercings, past the tattoos, you will know, I'm saying, because the Bible says these signs follow believers. So there's certain things about a believer I'm saying that you, you will see. Even you, you might you might overlook it at first by looking at it with your natural eye. When you start getting your spiritual eye, you will know who a believer, who ain't a believer, or who who in God will, who ain't God will, because it'll be evidence I'm saying about it'll be evident because you will see it right before your eyes. When they put their head fall, they don't fall. When you think I'm saying you're out, you know what I'm saying, they'll know be out. You know what I'm saying? When you when you when you when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you think it' about to go over, they about to they about to roll over, or they about to have a mo. You know what I'm saying? Then God just go in and He just show out. You know what I'm saying? When you think when you think you lost everything, God start giving more. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know those. You know I'm saying when start God will. It's, it's my desire that everyone. You know what I'm saying be blessed. But I want you to understand, saying that. Blessings are not always materialistic. Blessings that sometimes come in the form of your mind state. You know what I mean? Some people don't have peace in their mind. But having peace is a blessing. You could be dead broke, but having peace is a blessing. Let this mind be in you inside Christ Jesus. Though Jesus never, he, he never worried about the house or all type of stuff. He doesn't live. He doesn't live. Day to day, I'm saying he, I'm saying he lived inside the wilderness. He lived among people. He, he lived among sinners. But y'all don't think y'all better somebody. I think y'all say y'all 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 got sin in your life. Why y'all just so holy? You was alive, the devil ain't the truth not in you. Because Jesus hung around with sinners. Everybody he hung around, even the twelve was sinners. The Jews was a sinner. I'm saying nobody, nobody was so easy to be to be his place. I'm saying to betray for the for, for the simple. He was worldly. He seen things as in a materialistic game. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta be so careful about thinking he's something that we not. Because the Bible says when a man thinks he's something, he's nothing. He's nothing at all, I'm saying. And I guess my thing with, with a lot of church folks and religious people I'm saying that you think you, you get, get too holy, you know what I'm saying? Holiness as a lifestyle, not a testimony. Our way of sounding. You can't look holy. You can't talk holy. You can't walk holy. It's a lifestyle. That means a lifestyle is something in your heart that shows. Are you doing your time often? Are you giving to the poor? I'm saying, are you, are you, are you doing love and kindness? I'm saying, are, I'm sorry, are you concerned with the sick? You know what I'm saying? Are, it comes from your heart. So your lifestyle shows who you really, really believe in. You can walk around people, walk right by them, and don't speak to them, and you know you have done the wrong, and you don't have the audacity or the mindset to the apologize or to apologize. Yeah, God, God in you. He said by loving kindness, He's drawing you. 
And you can bad mouth Joseph, like anybody, Marco, uh, Kim, uh, anybody you may know. And you can bad mouth people and start trying to lift them up. All reason, God ain't in you. That means he ain't in you, he ain't for you. So certain scripture that be quoted every day ain't for us. Like the scripture we talking about today in here in Romans 8, 31. What can we say about these things that God be us and against us? That scripture gonna apply to us if we can't if you don't have love in our heart. Are we not in fact applying with God? I trying to I trying to like saying be that. Some of us would never have a, a spiritual encounter with God because our faith don't allow us to. Our mind state don't allow, 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 allow us to be saying because our, our mind state I'm saying, can, can be wrong or awkward. Let this mind I'm saying, be in you. Romans 8, 31. And what can we say about these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Understand and comprehend is he really for us or not? Only you know if God for you. Only you know if you pitch certain things like saying, well, but he able to be for you. You know. Like a relationship, you, you know, you know, you know. You know. So you can quote all the scriptures you want to, all these prosperity scriptures. I'm saying the earth be the Lord and full of love, and I have not because I ask not, and favor is all around me. All the all saying, no weapon for me. You can quote all these scriptures. You know what I'm saying? And still get no results. In your mind, you think you got results from these scriptures because you're quoting it. And you actually believe in it. Some of us believe a lie. You know what I'm saying? And you may, may, may be convinced that it's, it's we, we all right. You know what I'm saying? And we all and we all woke. So y'all can burn your stage, you can get your olive oil, you can say you, you can read the Psalms 9 and 1, you can read all these scriptures so, But a view is not inside his will. My dog is stopping the broadcast. We're gonna keep right on going. We're not gonna let that start. She's gonna stop the broadcast and she's on the video. She went in the video to see on TV now, but let her be on TV. But I don't know why she did that. I'm saying, but she just been extra, but it's all good over. God be for me. Look at big gift. So the earth is the Lord. So the dog, my, look at the dog. She just want to be on TV, Lord God. You know what I'm saying? She on TV. She, she don't know the brother, but we're not going to stop this recording. No, 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 no. We're <laughs> not going to stop this recording. But if God be for us, who can be against us? It shall be well. I'm not quite sure how many minutes we got left. I will, I will, where we are, but I guess we all will feel. We're going to go ahead and close out. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we tell you, thank you for life of us. We thank God for the world, the blood that runs out of vein. We thank you for the opportunity saying, to try to share and elaborate on some of the scriptures where we get guidance and get clarity on how to apply to life. Lord God, we thank you God, for your grace and your mercy. God, we thank you God, for the second chance, Lord God. God, forgive us all our sins, known and unknown. That two peace of in our heart, Lord God. Keep us, God, in your will. In Jesus' name. Remember to give. That was the thing. One of the things. It's on TV. Remember to give. Like cash out and say everything's on that thing. May God bless you and keep it to this time. This out the left. This simple truth. Bye bye.